this where we actually end up finding a village. It's in the film. Um, we, like I said, we make room for God outside of our plans. So mm -hmm. we, were, we did evangelism every day. When we were there, we had a medical team, a kids team, a cooking team. We had services at night. We were recording the album. But then we had evangelism teams. And that was just my always favorite thing to do. So I was on evangelism teams. We'd take a little metal boat that was sinking. One would go downstream, one would go upstream. And we would just, we're already 500 miles into the Amazon, but there are people that are like, I don't like the city life in a village. I'm gonna go live really remote. <laughs> we wouldn't go find those people. And so we would split up every day and every day we'd come back and God would do these just crazy stories. So we split up on this day and our missionary from Africa, she goes, God is gonna do something different today. And so as we were going, this boy, the 10 year old boy, a baby and the mother are standing on the riverbank. And so we just pull over and said, what's going on? She said she was dropped off by this boat. It's kind of like a bus system for the Amazon. And she said, I need to get to my village. It's really tucked away. Nobody knows where it's at. Will you take my 10 year old son to my village so that they can come back and get me and the baby? We're like, well, we have an assignment. We're gonna go do something, but God, you're opening this door. You said something's gonna different happen today, so let's do it. So we get there. And it turns out that this village was formed four years earlier. The chief, the Lord spoke to the chief and said, form a village in my name, and I will send people to teach you the word of God. Wow. So they've been waiting for four years. They've never had any visitors. No one's ever found, like even the locals, no one's ever found how remote this village is, but they've been waiting. And so we show up and we talk to the chief and we said, do you wanna do this? He's like, yes, I will, I've been waiting. Let's start this church. Meanwhile, the other evangelism team, they go to a village and this guy, the chief, he had missionaries come 50 years earlier and they translated the Bible with him. And he had a brand new, never opened Bible in the tribal language, which we had never seen. And so we meet up on the big boat and I tell him, we're gonna go dedicate a church with people from 13 nations. And we're gonna go, and we're gonna take the ferry into the jungle and, and go dedicate this church because all they want, they don't want medical, they don't want money, they don't want food. They just want the word of God. Well, the other team goes, we were just given this Bible because the chief said, the Lord told me to give this to you to give to a group of people today. So we literally ha physically had the word of God. So we all ferry for like an hour, 53 people from around the world into the middle of this plot in the jungle and dedicate this church. And we're actually going back in October. We've, we've now we're building a physical building and giving them school resources and things like that. But something like that, that was in the works 50 years ago. Yeah. Uh, we aired an episode about this uh, on TV and I got an email that night from someone he knows the person that transcribed the Bible 50 years ago, and they're now in their 90s, and they couldn't believe it. They saw the Bible, they knew it was there. So God like keeps continually tying all these knots together. If you liked what you saw, make sure to like that video and comment below. Hit the subscribe button for more content uploaded weekly.